Hi guys, Amber here for Talk To Me Tuesday. It is Tuesday, May 26th, 2015. Um, I'm actually very excited to be filming right now simply because um, my laptop, which I've been having some issues with, just got back to me today. Um, a friend of mine took it over the long weekend to um, do some spa days on it and um, cleaned it all up for me. So there's that. Um, but it meant I was without a computer for several days and even though I have a phone and a tablet it's just not the same for commenting and watching TTMT and certainly not the same for filming. So I was very glad to get this back in time to do filming. So time to talk. What should I tell you guys about? Um, first of all, Project of Doom. We did week 20 last week. The first time around week 20 was a candle on a base and um, I opted not to do that this time because I really liked what the variation was. The variation was a jam jar with Hermione's blue flames in it. So this one is mine and actually this book here, this middle book, this is actually my mom's background fabric which I had also used for the crystal ball um, but I had a strip of it that was perfect size for that and since it's Stonehenge it works and that's what's there and then this one's my mom's which I used some of the new fabric that I purchased last week and her jam jar has fairy frost and then the jar is actually made of Stonehenge and then the lid is Hoffman and Rock Candy. So um, then I've got some Moda here and I'm not sure what this peacocky fabric is but she had picked it out when we were in the store because she really liked it and it was purple and purplish and blue. So very happy mom. Um, what else? Um, I spent a lot of the weekend working on a crochet commission that I have due. Um, it's done. I can I can kind of show you a preview of it. Um, I can't unfold it completely because I'm taking the uh, worst case scenario route in that if somebody were to watch this and know who it's for because it's kind of obvious if I pull it all out then it might ruin a surprise so um but you can see that and then I did a very nice shell border on the edge and I have to tell you guys I was kind of upset with myself um if you've been watching my videos for a while you may have seen a few months ago I made a color wheel where I took one of every color of Red Heart and made a little square of it, put it on a, a split ring, not a split ring, an open ring, O ring, something like that. The ones that come apart like that, um, I bought about a hundred of them um, and I made one for each color and so when um, somebody wants a commission from me and they say they want blue, I can pull out the blue and show them there are 15 shades of blue in Red Heart yarn, what color do you want? And since I'm a nerd, I kind of can tell you what the colors are based on what you pick out. So, anyway, sorry, I moved my iron to the floor to put the blocks up and I didn't want it to spill over and burn anything. Um, so, anyway, um, yeah, I forgot what, oh, um, so colors. Um, the person who commissioned me had actually picked a color that apparently Red Heart isn't making anymore, which drives me bonkers. Could they at least give me a warning? I'm on their mailing list. Really. And so anyway, I managed to find a very similar, almost identical color in a different brand, which is not my favorite thing to do. I hate mixing brands and I really, I don't know about some of you people, but I really do prefer Red Heart Super Saver. Um, I don't get what people say about it being rough. Um, I find it very soft. 
I find it very durable. I find it very washable. So, um, but, and it comes in a lot of colors and it's affordable. So anyway, um, but I did find one that actually not only was the color that I needed, but it actually was the same texture and thickness. So I was able to use that instead. Um, so made for less than crabby amber. Um, also have been spending a good majority of the weekend working on um, a block that I can't show you. Um, so you guys will just have to wait for that. And you'll have to wait for my report on that. And I honestly think that's it. Um, I got a lot of fabric last week that I can't show you. Not because it's for a secret project or anything, but kind of um, going to be working on a project soon that I needed to pick up some fabric for. And um, the fact is, is even if I didn't tell you who it was for, um, if for whatever reason the person it's for saw my video, it would be very obvious who it was for. So I'm not going to do that. Um, and I think that's it for me. That's six minutes of me rambling. So it gets me my five minutes in May, five minutes a week in May. Um, I'm hoping to have more to show you guys next week now that I'm finished with my commissions for a while and with the month of June coming I've got a lot going on that I'm going to be eager to show you guys so I think that's it for me and I will talk to you guys next week bye